So we're going to start off by just sitting on the floor. Sit comfortably with the legs crossed. If you need a little bit of support behind the hips, just take a cushion or a block. Wedge the back of the hips so the pelvis is forward. Align the spine, chest and shoulders balancing above the pelvis. The body comes into neutral. We're now going to bring the mind into neutral, bring the awareness to the breath. If you want to place a hand on the abdomen, you can start to feel the movement of the breath. The inhalation. Exhalation. As you inhale, let the abdomen expand. As you exhale, let the abdomen contract. Fluid movement with the breath. Gently release that. You can lean forward to release the lower back. Remove your support. And then come down and lay on your back. Bring the knees towards the chest. You can hug the knees. Relax the thighs, release the hip joints. Just tuck the chin in, let the back of the neck lengthen. And place the left foot flat onto the mat and keep hold of the right knee. Again, release the hip, allow the knee to come gently towards you. Inhaling and exhaling. Slowly and gently extend the left foot towards the wall in front of you. Extend down through the heel. Have the toes pointing up towards the ceiling. Place the right foot on the floor. Bring the left knee in towards the chest. Same on the other side. Work with the breath, inhaling and exhaling. And then slowly extend the right leg, heel towards the wall in front, toes up towards the ceiling. Gently let the knee come a little closer towards you. Good. Bring both feet flat back onto the floor. Arms above the head, take hold of the wrist. Feet hip distance apart. And then as you exhale, bring the hips up towards the ceiling. Just keep the hips in a straight line between the knees and the shoulders. Weight go down through the feet. Let the weight go down through the shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling. And then slowly bring the hips back down, let them rest onto the floor. Bring the knees back in, hug the knees.
both feet flat onto the floor again, just bring the heels in towards the sit bones, feet parallel with each other, hip distance apart, arms back behind the head. Lift the hips once again, release the pelvis, let the weight go down through the feet, down through the shoulders. Inhaling and exhaling. Gently bring the hips back down. Knees towards the chest once again, release the pelvis. Then extend both arms out to the side, stabilize the shoulders onto the mat. And as you exhale, bring both knees down towards the right hand side. Take the right hand and place it gently on top of the left knee. Inhaling as you expand. Exhaling as you contract. And we're gently rotating the spine. As you breathe, the spine can release. center, exhaling come down onto the other side, take the left hand, place it on top of the right knee, use the breath the breath to release the spine as you exhale, and working from the inside. Bring the knees back up, place the feet onto the floor once again, align the feet so they're parallel. Clasp hold of the wrist and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. So realigning the spine, realigning the pelvis, working with the breath. Gently bring the hips back down. Bring the knees towards the chest. This time take the right hand onto the right knee, left hand onto the left knee. Let the knees separate. Place the hands behind the knees. Have the feet up towards the ceiling. Relax the hips, relax the thighs. And then bring the hands through the inside of the legs and take hold of the arches. Let the pelvis release. Tuck the chin in, let the back of the neck lengthen. This position is a little extreme. You might want to just take hold of the ankles or the lower part of the leg. Hip joints open. Hamstrings are starting to lengthen.
bring the feet back, place them onto the mat. Once again, we're going to take the hips in the opposite direction. So we've opened the hips out one way, now we're opening them the other way. Come back down. Now this time, you're going to just come onto the side of the mat, place the hand underneath the head just above the ear, take hold of the top leg, and gently bring the knee in towards you. Release the pelvis. Take hold of the foot, or take hold of the ankle, and extend the leg up towards the ceiling extending through the heel to lengthen the back of the leg. Keep the pelvis square, so don't roll too far back onto the pelvis or too far forward, keeping the pelvis aligned. Inhalation and an exhalation. Come back down on that side. Roll onto your other side. And this time we're going to do a slight variation. It was awkward to extend the leg using the hand. What we can do is use a yoga belt or a dressing gown tie. Release the hip. Take the belt around the foot. Take hold of the belt with the same hand as the foot. And then extend the leg heel up towards the ceiling. Come back down with the right leg. Laying on your back, bring the right knee in towards the chest. And take the belt around the right foot. Again, right foot, right hand. to release the hip joint here, so it's an idea before we start to take the leg out to the side to roll onto your left hip, releasing the joint, bring the hip back down. And then as you exhale, taking the right leg out towards the right side. And place the left hand onto the left hip to try and keep the left hip down. Your point that you come to is the point where the left hip starts to roll off the mat. You go beyond that, you're not working with the hip joint as much as working with the lower back. Now we all have different abilities here, so it's not important to get the foot onto the floor find your place and then you work with that. Inhaling and exhaling. Bring the right foot back. Left knee towards the chest. Release the hip joint. belt around the left foot and take hold of it with the left hand. Once 
wrist again if it's useful. You can start to roll onto the outside edge of the hip, releasing the hip joint, relaxing the thigh. slowly and gently taking the left leg out to the side. Again, you're watching for the opposite hip. Just that point when it starts to roll off the mat is your place, what you're gonna work with. Keep the right hip down, release the left hip joint. Bring the left leg back. Bring the right knee in towards the chest again. Now this time we're gonna come across the body with the leg. So take the belt around the right foot. And now with the opposite hand, right foot, left hand. Again, release the joint. Extend the heel up towards the ceiling. Take the right arm out towards the side to give you some balance. Now bring the foot across the body. Now you won't have as much openness in this direction. So take the foot about 45 degrees out to the side. Try and keep the right hip level. And work on releasing the sleeve of the thigh. Extend the foot down towards the floor. Now we're going to roll into the lower back, so it's a spinal rotation now. Inhalation. And exhalation, releasing the lower back, releasing the pelvis. Bring the left knee towards the chest. Same on the other side. Place the belt around the foot. Right hand, left foot. So align the spine as you come down onto the mat. Keep the heel of the lower leg extending towards the wall in front of you and gently take the left leg across. 45 degrees or thereabouts. Relax the thigh, release the hips. Then continue down with the foot as you rotate into the spine. Again, working with the breath. Inhalation. And exhalation. Bend the knee, bring the foot back. Knees in towards the chest. Gently hug the knees. Both arms out to the side, and then bring the knees out to the right hand side, place the left hand onto the right knee. Again, rotating the spine. This time we're gonna take the arm out to the side, extend the legs up towards the right hand. 
you can't quite reach the feet, you might want to use your belt. Just take it around the feet and hold onto it with the right hand. If you were standing here, you'd be doing a forward bend with quite a deep twist. Now, you have the option, you can either stay as you are. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can take the right foot back towards the left hand. Keep the left foot in the right hand. Bring the right knee down towards the front of the mat. as you inhale and exhale. Release that. Bring the feet back onto the mat once again. Hands around the knees. And lift the hips up towards the ceiling. So aligning the pelvis, aligning the spine, before we come onto the other side. So gently rotating the spine. Let that release first. And then slowly extend the legs. Left hand taking hold of the feet. deeper, left foot, right hand, right foot, left hand, and then as you exhale, moving into the position slowly, gently, so the left knee is pointing towards the front of the mat, and then extend the right leg heel towards the left wall. Release that. Align the spine once again. Exhaling as you come up. So keeping the spine straight, hips between the knees and the shoulders. bring the hips back down, release them. Exhaling, taking the pelvis up once again. This time take it a little bit further beyond the center line, so it's above the line of the knees and the shoulders. Opening out the front of the thighs. down, knees in towards the chest, now this time we're going to take hold of the big toes, bring the knees in towards you, and then very gently and slowly extend the heels out towards the side walls as you take the legs apart. Obviously not everybody's going to be able to straighten the backs of the legs, so just work very gently 
taking the heels out towards the side walls. You can always bend the knees, release the pelvis, and then just try that one more time. Good. And then as you exhale, you can take both heels up towards the ceiling, straightening out the backs of the legs. In this position, if you want to use your belt, it can be useful. We'll just work with the knees slightly bent. Place the feet flat on the floor once again. And this time bring the feet so they're alongside each other and lift the hips. We're gonna release the left leg and extend the left foot up towards the ceiling. Bring the ankle down onto the knee so across the legs, and then lift the hips. Now keep the hips lifted, and let the left knee drop. Keep the weight going down through the right foot. Inhaling and exhaling. Gently come down. Again, bring the feet together. Exhale and lift the hips up towards the ceiling. This time the right foot lifts, heel up towards the ceiling. Weight going down through the left foot. Bend the right knee and place the right ankle onto the left knee. Lift the hips and let the right knee drop. So try and keep the pelvis square, keep it level, and open the hip joint. Bring the hips back down. Feet hip distance apart. Release the pelvis. Bring the hands back behind the head, clasp both of the wrist. And let the body go. Release it. Good. Come back up into sitting. Extend both legs out in front of you. And then bring the heel of the left leg in towards the groin. And just slightly bend the right knee and come forward. Come forward into a forward bend with the knee bent. Inhaling, then as you exhale, straighten out the back of the leg. Trying to keep the spine long, straight. Forward bends come from inside the hip joint, in the pelvis. And then as you exhale, you can bring the head down towards the shin, moving through the spine. So you're bending forward from the spine now. The shoulders relaxed. Come back up. Legs out in front of you once again. Align the pelvis, line the spine. Bring the right foot heel in towards the groin. And again, we'll do a variation. 
Take your belt around the left foot. Bend the left knee slightly. And then as you exhale, you can straighten the left leg as you work deep inside the pelvis, inside the hip joint. Gently come forward with the head towards the knee. Inhaling. And releasing the hip as you exhale. Come back up. Now cross the legs in front of you. Take the right foot in front of the left. And then take the belt around the right foot which is now on the left side of the body. Pass the strap across the left thigh, then bring the right hand behind you and take hold of the strap. We're gonna take the left hand onto the right knee, and we're gonna rotate the spine. Inhaling. Then as you exhale, allow the spine to rotate really from your center Try not to aggressively rotate from the shoulders. Let the head release and let it be the last thing to come round as you look back towards the wall behind you. the belt. And we're going to come onto the other side. Now I'd advise you to stay with the belt on this side, but what we're going to do here for some people, you may want to try alternatives for this. So we're going to come into a lotus position. Now if you do the lotus on one side, you do it on the other side. If you do the belt on one side, then obviously you do the belt on the other side as well. Inhaling and exhaling. Come back to center. legs. This time bring the left foot underneath the right leg. Take the right foot outside of the left knee and then wrap the left arm around the right knee. And just gently hug the knee and release the right hip joint. right hand back behind you and again as you exhale rotating the spine and then at the last moment taking the head back towards the wall behind Release that side. Come over to the other side. Right foot underneath the left leg. Left foot on the outside edge of the right knee. Wrap the right hand around the left knee. 
release the left hip joint. Place the left hand back behind you. And as you exhale, start to release the spine as it rotates. Inhaling. And exhaling. center. Cross the legs once again. Now take hold of the right foot with the left hand. Right hand back behind you. Rotate the spine. Once you rotate the spine, you can extend the right leg out in front of you. Now again, this is a position where you can use the belt, so you'd wrap the belt around the foot to begin with. Head back towards the wall behind you, working with the breath as you inhale and exhale. leg down, cross the feet over, so the right hand onto the left foot, left hand behind you, rotate through the spine to begin with, and then gently extend the leg out in front of you. Try and keep the shoulders square with the arm extended out to the side. Back on your mats, bring the heels in towards the sit bone once again, feet hip distance apart. And then exhaling, taking the hips up towards the ceiling. down, rest them onto the mat. Come back up into sitting. This time we're going to extend both legs out in front. Just gently bend the knees. We're going to come forward into a forward bend again. This time with both legs. Bending the knees releases the pelvis so you can let the pelvis rotate forward and then gently straighten the right leg and then straighten the left leg. Keep the spine long to begin with. Rotating through the pelvis. Relax the shoulders.
and coming down through the spine as you bring the head down towards the knees or in between the legs towards the floor. legs. Now we're going to take the feet out towards the side, so right leg extended forward and then the left leg. Now adjust the pelvis. You want to try and get onto the front of your sit bones if you can. Take the hands back behind you to begin with, chest and shoulders open. Keep the spine long, and then walk the hands forward, continuing to keep the spine long. Just adjust the pelvis so it feels comfortable. Keep the hands back behind you for some support. Rotate through the pelvis, let that come forward. Then bring the left hand in front of you, the right hand behind, and square the shoulders on towards the right foot. Again, you can slightly bend the right knee, and then come forward towards the right foot, taking hold of the foot with either the belt or the hands, exhaling, straightening the back of the right leg. from that side. Square the shoulders on towards the left foot. And as you exhale, come forward. left foot, come back up, adjust the legs, adjust the pelvis, square the pelvis to the shoulders, this time take hold of the right foot and bring the elbow down towards the floor, have the right knee bent, and take the left hand above take hold of the right toe, exhaling, straighten the right leg, let the left shoulder open and the head can face up towards the ceiling. center. Same on the other side. If you're using the belt, take the hand down the belt as far as you can. Bring the elbow towards the floor. And 
as you take the right arm over, you should be able to take hold of some of the belt. And then gently straightening out the back of the left leg. Work your hand down the belt towards the foot to go a little bit deeper. Come back up to center. Again, adjust the pelvis. Bring both hands down towards the feet or onto the ankles. This time we're gonna come forward through the center line. Try to rotate mainly from the pelvis. Once you've rotated as much as you can, then you can work your way up through the spine, lower back middle of the back and then eventually the head. Release that. Gently and slowly lift the legs and bring the soles of the feet together. Let the thighs release and let the knees come out to the side. Again, take the hands back behind you, let the chest and shoulders open, let the spine align and lengthen. Then bring the hands forward onto the feet. Try and keep the length through the spine, keep the chest and shoulders open. Take the right foot in front of the left foot. This time we're gonna come forward, again from the pelvis, then the lower back, and the middle of the back. And then eventually the head down towards the feet. come back up, adjust the legs, take the left foot just in front of the right. Coming forward once again from the hips, then the lower back, working your way up through the spine. Inhaling and exhaling. And gently release the head towards the feet. It doesn't matter if the head doesn't touch the feet. It's not important we're working through the pelvis, through the spine, letting the head gently come forward. back up into sitting, gently lift the knees, lay back on your mat once again, and bring both knees in towards the chest. Place the feet flat onto the floor, hands back behind the head, 
exhaling, lift the hips up towards the ceiling. So realigning the pelvis, realigning the spine, let the weight go into the shoulders, down through the feet. Bring the hips back down, and then slowly make your way up into standing. And stand with the feet hip distance apart. Align the body, transfer the weight into the right foot, lift the left foot off the mat, and bring the left foot inside of the right thigh. Bring the hands above the head and clasp hold of a wrist. Inhaling and exhaling. Bring the hands back down. Place the left foot onto the mat. Transfer the weight into the left foot. Bring the right foot off the mat. Right foot inside of left thigh. Hands above the head. Clasp hold of the wrist. Relax the shoulders. Let the weight go down through that supporting foot. Bring the arms down. Place the right foot back onto the mat. And then widen the feet so they're just as wide as the mat but the feet are parallel with each other. Bring the hands above the head. This time we're gonna lengthen the spine. And then as you exhale, come forward with the hands clasped behind the back. So again, we're rotating the pelvis forward. The spine can be quite long here. And then we can work deeper through the spine lower back, middle of the back, and then eventually the head. Bend the knees, and push down with the feet, and roll the spine up vertebrae by vertebrae. Come back up into standing. Standing at the back of your mat. Come forward into a forward bend, bend both knees. Straighten the right leg and extend the hands back behind you. So same on the other side, bend the knees. And then as you exhale, straighten the left leg Right knees bent, and then extend the arms back behind towards the wall in front of you. Good, bend both knees, release the shoulders. And as you exhale, extending both legs and extending the arms. Release the arms, bring the hands back alongside the feet. Lightly touch the mat with the hands, bend the knees, and we're going to walk out along the mat. So walking the hands gently, slowly across the mat, we're going to come into what's known as a downward facing dog. Release the spine, allow the shoulders to release. Relax the ankles, let the heels drop. If you want to bend the knees in this position if the lower back's tight, then bend the knees. Inhaling and exhaling. J.
gently come down onto your knees. Sit back on your heels. Bring the hands back alongside the feet into a child position. Relax the shoulders. Inhalation and exhalation. And then bring the arms out in front of you. Open out the palms of the hands. Have the hands shoulder distance apart. Tuck the toes underneath the heels. Have the heels and the feet hip distance apart. And then as you exhale, bring the hips up back into your downward facing dog. Try and find the openness through the shoulders, through the spine, through the hips. Let the weight go into the hands and the feet. Now you can either stay as you are or just let the right elbow come down onto the mat and then bring the left elbow down onto the mat into what's called an elbow dog. Bring the right elbow off, straighten the right arm, and then bring the left elbow off, straighten the left arm, back into a full downward facing dog. Then slowly walk the hands back along the mat towards your feet. Once you brought the hands back, bend the knees, and push down with the feet as you roll back up, vertebrae by vertebrae, back up into standing, let the arms come above the head, and then bring back the arms alongside, and then come down onto your mat. So as your relaxation, Lay on the mat with the knees bent, releasing the lower back. So feet hip distance apart. You can slightly turn the heels out, toes in towards each other, help you support the knees. Arms out to the side, palms up towards the ceiling. Chin tucks in, and the back of the neck lengthens. Inhaling and exhaling. 